What's going on, guys? What is happening, folks? Yeah, everybody pop on in. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? All right, we in here. Hold on. What's going on with y'all, man? All right, checking in with everybody. <clears throat> checking in with everybody. Seeing what's going on. I'm still getting better. I'm about 98% there, not all the way. But I'm doing good. How y'all doing, man? Glad to have y'all tuning in. Glad to have the family tuning in. A few things I want to touch on. A few things I want to discuss. Shout out to everybody coming in the room. We're packing up in the room. Shout out to all the sisters in here. Look at all the lovely ladies in here. Shout out to you lovely sisters in here. want to touch on a few things. Um, first of all, we're still getting stuff ready for the Dallas event that we're having in May down in Dallas, the big FBA Expo. That's going to be a big phenomenal event. We have so many people asking about vending. Um, we'll have all of the vendor registration to you in, in about two weeks. We're just getting the venue locked down, which is, you know, the, the Thanksgiving holiday just ended. So now everybody's back at work. So now we can go ahead and get the venue down there locked down. Once we get the venue locked down and um, we get all the food truck permits and everything that we need. And then we're going to start opening up the vendor registration. Also, all of you guys who are fashion designers, we had a meeting today. We're going to have a fashion show. So it's just going to be a big, interactive, fun-filled day. It's going to be phenomenal. So all of you designers, we're going to have a special registration for black designers and models as well. Because we want to put a lot of black designers on and showcase them. So if you are a black designer, you design clothes, this is your time to shine. Uh, we need you to come on through models. We're going to have the models register to come on down to model the fashion and the clothes. Now, listen, we welcome all models. All right. We, we welcome all models. We're not discriminatory whatsoever. But if you know you're built like a Honda Civic. Um, please don't don't email us about registration and be. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm not trying to be mean spirited. I'm not. I'm not trying to be mean spirited. But some of you, some of you know what you, what you look like with your clothes off. Um. Um. If you're built like T.S. Giselle, don't. I. I don't think you should be hitting us up. Uh, and, and to be fair, I, 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 we'll have another meeting and see if we can have a um, a husky runway. I, I don't know. We might be able to pull something off just so we can be inclusive. But um, when we say model, we mean the traditional um, model look. That's what we're talking about. And, um, you know, we're, we're open to some things. We're open to suggestions, I'm saying. But we ain't that goddamn open. All right. We're, we're open to a point. All right. Anyway, but I keep you guys posted on that. I keep you guys posted on that. What's up, brother Afro Elite? What's up, Lioness Crown? I see you, sis. So, man, what's going on? Are we having a purge, man? Are we going through a purge? The other day, I was talking about what they were doing out in San Francisco. They were trying to, they were passing a, a damn law just to um, allow them damn robots to kill people those robot police, and they just passed it, from what I understand. They voted, it was like eight to three, some shit like that. But they passed an ordinance in San Francisco to have robots kill people. You did, which they've been doing, on well, they, they started doing with um, Micah Johnson. And you know who those robots are going to be targeting. You know who they're going to be targeting. So there's so many constitutional questions here. Does a person have due process? How are you going to have an executionary um, phenomenon running around in the streets? An apparatus for the sake of executing? How does how does that tie into the Constitution? I'm just, you know, we we really have to look at it from that standpoint, where they're giving a damn robot a green light to kill people without a trial, without due process. They're sitting here saying that. Um, an apparatus that they create can just execute people. Yeah? 
and they're saying emergency situations. They're trying to word it in a certain way to make it seem like only in extreme situations. But no, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. You know, they're going to use the I'm white and I say so stuff. So, family, we got to be prepared out here, man. This is purge talk. If they're starting to let, if they're letting robots, they're giving robots the green light to kill people and they're going to be targeting black people. Trust and believe they're not going to be killing no damn white people with robots. You know why? Because white society would ri rise up against that. They would raise up against that real quick. And not only on the West Coast, out there on the East Coast, um, Mayor Adams, they just announced where they're going to start removing, quote unquote, mentally ill people off the streets, even by force. And they're going to institutionalize them. Did y'all see that? That's, um, I, I think I retweeted that. He said, Mayor Adams of New York just announced he's going to remove mentally ill people off the street and even involuntarily hospitalize them. Okay. Yeah, he's not going to do that. It's not going to be white people they're doing that to. So they're going to start purging the black folks off the streets and putting them into hospitals. Where are these hospitals? Hospitals, and, and they might just be using little trick words. A hospital? What hospital is going to house these people? Who's going to pay for these hospitals? Is the hospital really a concentration camp? We got to ask these questions. When they throw little words out here, we got to see what they're talking about. The media works with law enforcement to throw out very deceptive terms. There was a white cop out here in um, California he went on a killing spree. He um, is an active sheriff deputy, from what I understand, right? He catfished some girl's family and went and killed the girl's grandparents. And just, just killed some people. Just killed some random people. This was an active duty sheriff. And the media was running around talking about, well, he's a law enforcement employee. They, would, they didn't want to say cop. They didn't want to say police officer. They said law enforcement employee. That's the white media trying to cape for these people. This is how on code they are, man. They are hella on code. And they're giving these people the green light to just go off and kill with impunity or just go out here and just kill and they'll still be protected as far as the portrayal of them to a certain degree. So we got to be on our P's and Q's out here. We really got to be on our P's and Q's out here. Well, we got a lot of folks in the room. We'll start getting some folks up. What's, now, what's going on with some of the, the Twitter spaces out here? What's going on? I don't know what's happening. I got to see what's up with my sister, Wani. Well, who, was somebody threatening Wani? What was going on? I don't, I, I'm, I don't keep up with a lot of stuff that goes on on here. But what was happening with Wani? Who was somebody was threatening Wani, from what I heard? I don't know all the details of it. But they said somebody was threatening my sister, Wani. What was that about? Um, let me get some folks in here. Now, secret, secret sister, you send me a lot of weird stuff. Ma'am, you, you own something else. You're like, why don't I respond to you? Do I not like you? Ma'am, you, you have some type of um, mythological conversation with me. It's, it, it's, come on, ma'am. You're scaring me, secret sister. You be emailing me, talking about, or, or DM me. I heard you don't like me, Tyree. Ma'am, what, ma'am? Cut that out, secret sister. You got to cut that out, ma'am. Yes, yes, you got to cut it out. Let me get you in here. Get in here. Ma'am, you on one. You got to take your medication, ma'am. Get in here, secret sister. Get in here. You got to stop doing that. That's very weird and awkward. You have to stop doing that. Super okay. What? Okay. Let me let me explain myself. Why do you sit here saying well, I don't like you? I don't. I don't okay. No. 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 Actually, it doesn't really even matter who. I don't even know you, and you don't know me. But why do you keep okay. saying how come I? So don't when like I you? say I don't like you, I mean you don't like me. It's because this uh, Mac Mac Sigma. And all this other stuff, okay? It, it's going on. It's that's why I was trying to handle this in the Ooh. back. Ooh. Mac Mac at Sigma, like Ooh, he he's. Um, every woman in here probably didn't got 
called every bitch whore. Well, he came to me. And, I mean, he Ooh. came. His Ooh. name M Ooh. Mac. It's it's a capital M A C C, and then the at sign and Sigma. At I don't know who that is, dear. Neither did I. I didn't know him either. And he just comes out and he starts calling women bitches. What does that have to do? No, with that me has nothing. To, okay, else? I'm going to tell you. So, he comes up with me. He comes up to me and said, Tariq said to stay away from you. He's telling everybody around, stay away from you. I don't know who this person is. Man. Okay, now I know that. But that's all I needed to know because now I know that it wasn't you and now I can just go at him. That's all I wanted to do in the background. I don't I don't do this on here. I don't do this talking okay. on here. So okay. when I was trying to reach out, it's because I was angry because I wanted to really know. Tariq wouldn't have said that. He don't even, really even know me. He don't know me. I don't know all him. Right, ma'am. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much, dear. Okay. Lord, Lord, Lord. Man, sometimes folks got to get off this app. Folks got to get off this app. Wani, Wani, come here, Wani. What's what's going on? Who is threatening Wani? Wani, hop in, dear. Hop in, dear. I want to know who is threatening Wani. How come I can't let Wani? I want to let Wani up. Okay. <clears throat> Wani, what was going on, dear? Oh, no, what, what? Well, we were in the room and... A couple of days ago, and the Somalis were saying that the Nation of Islam, they weren't real Muslims. They weren't practicing Islam properly. And so then we got into a religious discussion, and I showed them um, some parts of the Quran and asked them to explain it. And they basically flew into a rage. And then they brought in a mufti to it's like a scholar to read it and then he verified what everybody knew anyway and then they just got mad and said they were going to cut my throat and um oh, Lord. <laughs> from ear to ear uh yeah and um then uh one of our you know black american chimed in and said you deserve whatever you get you deserve to have your throat cut so i said okay so since all this anger and then of course T.S. Giselle jumped on the stage from nowhere and wanted to add into it so I said since this uh, it space is really uh, you know hot topic I'm out because I was being um, the girl that threatened to cut my throat was the co-host and she uh, was muting me so I couldn't talk. So I said, well, since I can't talk and T.S. Giselle is going to talk and they're all calling me names, I'm just going to leave because I can't talk. Mm -hmm. And so I went somewhere and started another room with somebody else. And then that infuriated um, the person who originally had the room because they felt like, you're taking people away from the room when I really just wanted to go into a room to chill out, to decompress from that room. Right. 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 Wow. Wow. Okay, man, it's there's so much stuff goes on that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Wani, for clarifying that. Yes. Yeah, so much stuff goes on, on these spaces and all that. Hold on. Let me get Sir Major in here. Sir Major has been trying to chime in. What's up, Sir Major? So, Major, what's happening? Bro, let me get a quick rundown. I, I curate controversial spaces, big spaces. We talk about everything underneath the sun. Good, bad, and ugly. Okay, that's what I do. I believe in free speech. Wani came back over to our spaces, and ever since she came back over three weeks ago, it's been hell to pay over here. Okay? So I try not to get on Wani's bad side, and I try to keep things copacetic steady based on her relationship with you and my respect right. for you. We all do. So with all that said, Wani says some salacious ass shit about Muslims, calling them, talking about their religion and underage girls, all that stuff. The typical thing that most people think of when, when you think of Islam. I let that, I let Wani get her shit off, okay? Wani, the, a Muslim girl said this, and this was the threat that, that, that Wani's talking about. They said, if you were in a Muslim country and you said that, they would cut your throat. Another girl, a smaller girl said yes, from ear to ear. Wani was saying inflammatory stuff and is saying it in a disrespectful manner. The day before that, she was disrespecting 
the Jewish community in my space. The day before that, she was disrespecting the Christians. So why do you got a problem with religion? And that's fine. I, I, why do you can say whatever she want? And I'm going to back it. But when you're being inflammatory, you you can't. I can't shut everybody else out because you being disrespectful. So that's what happened. The black American was Black Valley. The guy, uh, he got a blue check mark. He said, Wani, you're being a bitch. Stop, stop acting like her. Something to that effect. Okay? So Wani is using her relationship with you to disrespect people. And then whenever she does something and people call it out, then you, you know, you chime in on it. Now we all looking stupid. Now, I've given Wani a lot of grace, Tariq, but she be, she be violating. And when she violate, I can't shut everybody else up, you know, because Wani got a problem with them. So why do you think that I'm supposed to remove people out of the spaces for her liking? I'm not doing that. That's it. Uh, well, Wani, she just kind of gives her opinion. Wani don't really disrespect people. I listen to Wani all the time. You know, in these spaces, people give their opinions on certain things. So Wani is not really disrespectful to anybody. If she gives her oppositional opinion to something or a topic, well, that's what the spaces are for. But as far as disrespecting people personally, Wani doesn't do that. You, you dig? So the dude, I'm gonna get Black and Belly up here in a second. Uh, well, let me get I, uh, hold on. Let me I, let me get Wani in here. Wani is here too. What's up, sister? Hop on Wani because we got to get all this shit straight. Wani, hop on, beloved. I did not disrespect anybody. I gave my opinion. They had the Mufti come up there. He verified it, and they just didn't like answered, and they decided to take it out on me. I did not do anything. You brought a Jewish man into the space. He was a very dismissive. He kept saying, oh, uh, I didn't sell slaves or I didn't do this or I don't have anything to do. And I said, we're not talking about you. We're speaking about the collective. I was not disrespectful to him at all. And if you have me being disrespectful to all these people, please post it. Post the audio of me disrespecting these people. You know, I don't record my rooms, but OK. Yeah, because I don't see Wani being disrespectful to anybody. I did that. I just don't see her doing that. And I mean, again, so Wani does raise good points. I'm not saying that Wani does raise fair points, and I've always defended Wani. Even in that that moment, I've defended Wani and dog people over Wani. Even recently, even a few days ago. So it's not necessarily what she's saying is more or less how she says it with with the tone and all that stuff. So again, it ain't no big no no pressure from me. Right. Wani blocked me today. And I ain't did nothing to her. You actually did. You came into a room that I was minding my own business in, and you cussed everybody out in the room. Previously, you called the women bitches. You called me a bitch, and she didn't. No, even I say said she had main bitch syndrome. She had main well, bitch syndrome. Is what I said. People don't want to be called bitches, okay? So we were not bothering you. You're free to open your own room, and I'm free to be in another room. I'm just wanted to decompress from that room. I don't really want to hang out with Somali trolls anymore. I don't want to hang out with T.S. Giselle anymore. And I don't want to hang out with the other drunk, funny people that you want to hang out with. I wanted to have more of a productive room. And we did have a productive room going. And you invaded it and got mad and called everybody names. And I don't want that to happen tomorrow. Thank That's you. not true. Listen, let me, I'm going to get Black Avelli on. But thank you so much, sir, Major. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right let me get Black Avelli in here. And Black Abelli, let me have you hop on, brother. So Black Abelli, what what's the word, brother? What's um what's your side of it, sir? Tariq, what's good? What's good, fam Lisa? What's going Man, on? Man, uh, so this is what's going on, Tariq. So um <clears throat> first of all, uh Wani, you're under this impression that she's not disrespectful to people, and she and she 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 very much is very disrespectful to, to FBA people and the and the whole nine. I'm I'm FBA and I'm also Muslim, right? Um, so, right. so what's happening here is the fact that, um, Wani takes things, um, out of the Quran, surahs and things of that nature, and she doesn't have a context of what she's saying, and she's pretty much demonizing the whole, uh, uh faith as far as Muslims, right? So, uh, I try mm -hmm. to, you know, talk to her and say, nah, sister, that don't, don't really, that don't mean that, the context is all wrong, but my thing is she has a, a, a disdain and hatred for anybody who practices any kind of religion, whether it be a Jew, Christian, or, or what have you, you know what I'm saying? So what happened is Somali sisters had, had said something in regards to that her 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 throat will be slit and all that kind of stuff, right? And then um after that, you know, I'll try to talk to her and it wasn't really getting anywhere. And at this point, I'm like, you know, at this point, you know, when it comes to you know what you have said about the Muslim community, um, you, you double down on it, right? 
uh, you wrote in articles and you feel how you feel. However, that community responds to you, you know, that's what it is. You know, and I said, what happened, whatever happens to you, happens to you at that point. So uh, at that point, that was perceived as me uh, co-signing or me making a threat or however it was supposed to be perceived. And that's that wasn't the case. So, uh, but no, she right. is disrespectful to, to a lot of people on these on these apps. Um, she's gotten into your good graces. So she thinks she has the green light to be able to talk to people all fucked up. And, you know, like my first interaction with Wani was some shit like, you know, I was coming up, you know, I'm FBA, you know what I'm saying? I'm Muslim. So I'm coming up to my, my, my in the spaces of my perspective of, you know, like how like I'm Muslim and things of that nature. I kind of mix it in or whatever. And she was like, huh, I don't want to lecture on Islam. And I'm like, damn, sister, you, you know, like don't even know me. Didn't even, you know, say, you know, inbox me nothing. That was just her, her, her approach um, from the beginning. So, no, she is on these spaces of the street doing that shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's not cool. And she feels that she can't be checked or talked to uh, or approached about how she how she be coming at people because of her because of her age and her uh, position with you. You know what I'm saying? So uh, but no, she is doing that fam. I'm, and I wouldn't I would sit up here and lie on her like that. Um, I don't get on these spaces to raise my hand to come up here and, and, and be a tattletale or a rat and, and do all that kind of stuff. I'm telling you what this sister is actually really doing. All right, all right, brother. Thank you oh, so yeah, much. And also, Black there was brother. a reverend in the space that she actually went at as well too. A a, a, a Baptist reverend or a, a, a Christian reverend, she went at him too. So it's just that's what she's doing. Okay, all right. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. All right. <clears throat> the thing is, family. Like I said, in these spaces, man, we're we're supposed to talk about different things. We're supposed to talk about opposing views. This is what these spaces are for. Everybody can kind of chime in on, on their own vibe. And again, like Wani doesn't just out just doesn't disrespect people on some personal shit. Sounds like people have an ideological difference about some of the stuff she's saying. It, that should be okay. This is what these spaces are about. If somebody has some questions about religion, which I do too, I question a lot of the shit that goes on in these religions. That should be questioned. That's okay. People don't don't attack the sister because she's questioning some real shit. There's some real stuff to question as far as all of these religion, religious groups, good and bad. You, you, we can criticize these religions because that's what it sounds like. Some, it sounds like some people sound like um, they're upset that their faith is being attacked. Look, you have these Somalians out here who are supposed to be practicing Islam and they do some real slimy shit. And they are very disrespectful towards us. That's what I'm like looking at. I know you guys ain't siding with no damn these Somalian trolls who be in these rooms because I personally dealt with these guys and I see how they talk shit about us and how they denigrate us. These Somalian trolls are infamous for doing that type of stuff. They should be checked for that type of bullshit. You think? We hear how they get down. These people are vicious when it comes to attacking us. So yeah, if you check them and go in on them, and the type of religion and the way they practice their religion, which is, is not in a traditional way, they pick and choose how they're going to practice their religion, all of that should be called out. I'm not mad at Wani at all for calling that out. It should be called out because these people come in here funny style. Okay? So, you know, we, we, it has to be some respect there. It has to be some, some respect all the way around. It has to be respect all the way around. And again, Ronnie's a rider. I mean, Lonnie, um, Wani's a rider. Ronnie, Lonnie doesn't. Why I keep, I keep getting the. Why am I getting my my consonants messed up? I'm calling her Ronnie and Lonnie. Shit, Wani. Shit, Wani. <laughs> Wani is a rider. Wani don't. I, I I listen to Wani. Wani don't really disrespect people on a personal level. Wani just doesn't do that. And so we got to have some respect there. We got to have some respect there. That, that's very important. Let me get some more people in here. Let's get Peter in here. Peter, I don't know why Peter has a Hitler thing. On. Peter, hop on, brother. Hop on, Peter. Oh, well, I just wanted, Peter. yeah, I just wanted to jump in this. I was uh, able to partake in those last two debates and this whole thing that unfolded with Islam earlier today. Um, and Wani and I do okay. have a pretty productive conversation but one of the topics that i wanted to broach and maybe pick your brain about was just sort of the anti-semitism that i've experienced you know someone who's jewish jumping in these spaces and trying to have a good faith you know conversation 
you know, it seems like, yes, Islam does get attacked, but not nearly as much as Judaism does. You know, I get worse treatment in an FBA space than I do, you know, in a space with white nationalists. And I don't know exactly why. That really? Is. How so? How so? How so? OK, so how do foundational black Americans treat you worse? Well, so for instance, we were trying to have a good faith conversation and one and I were going back and forth. And in the comments, um, I was getting tagged in these articles of you know, uh, Hasidic rabbis giving herpes to children, you know, during the performance of a circumcision that, oh, this is what you people do. You know, uh, all, all the slave ship owners were Jewish and just things that are, you know, untrue. Because the whole thing with the circumcision thing, you know, that was an isolated incident that happened amongst Hasidic Jews. Most Jews are not Hasidic. They're a tiny minority of Jewish people. You know, no one really practices that type of circumcision. And, and you know, mainstream secular Jews and even Orthodox Jews have come out against that sort of stuff. So, you know, trying to say, hey, this is normal. This is what everyone does. You know, it creates this kind of narrative. You know, these people are just disgusting doing these kind of evil things. When in reality, that, that just doesn't reflect, you know, um, what's really going on. OK, so because you had a, a conversation with like one or two people, you're, you're equating that with black people. No, I'm talking about are more anti-Semitic? black American spaces. And, and I've been in tons of them. And most of these people and like Wani knows me and so does Sir Major. And I jump into a lot of these big spaces and sort of have these conversations. And it always just kind of turns into this diatribe of, oh, you know, you're shutting down Kanye West and Kylie Irving and, you know, Jews control the media and Jews control this and that. And they're against black people. And it's. It's the same thing that sort of white nationalists do at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, I have some opinions that they might not agree with. You know, I think that Jewish people should be able to, you know, have a, a say in, you know, what a lot of these black celebrities that are pushing these anti-Semitic narratives are saying. You know, I think that Jews should be able to step in to stop this because there are real ramifications, you know, this sort of rhetoric in society. And, uh, you know, Wani didn't like the fact that I, I brought up the Charleston shooting and the massacre that happened, but... You know, that's a result of what happens when you get this white nationalist rhetoric that spreads. You get someone like, you know, Dylan Roof who goes and shoots people. But, you know, she forgot to mention that we had five synagogues that have been shot up since then in the country. You know, one where you had over 20 people that were murdered in cold blood in Pittsburgh. But these were white supremacists doing this. What did that have to do with black people? It has to do with the promotion of anti-Semitic rhetoric so but they're but not so you, are you saying that wait 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 yeah. stop stop because are you saying that white national white nationalists are doing it because of black people being anti-semitic well they're all gloating i mean all the white nationalists like nick fuentes is a white nationalist he's been in bed with yes. kanye west and kanye west is one of the he is black whether you like it or not he has one of the biggest platforms you know he might not be popular in the black community but no he doesn't no no he doesn't no he doesn't he's just a popular black person he doesn't have a big platform black people are not platform, following though. kanye Oh, but black people are not following. So why are Kanye they? Why West? is it and then when I go in these FBA spaces, they're parroting the same talking points that Kanye West is discussing in the media? Like if if that's not the the case, is there a disconnect there? Because they might you know say, oh, I don't like Kanye personally because you know the White Lives Matter shirt and his antics and Trump and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, they're saying the exact same stuff when it comes to you know anti semitism or quote unquote Jewish power. Then, okay, but the people who's actually committing these actionable offenses. You're not in their rooms. I, Black people are not shooting up synagogues. How come you're not in the white nationalist rooms? The, the people who are really room. doing I'm stuff. Both of them. Um, and what I really which is, ones? Well, which no. One? I mean, you can ask. I mean, you can talk to some of these people that run these spaces, and they'll see me jumping into these white nationalist spaces. And so, you know, that's just. I don't. I don't think that that reflects reality. And I just, you know, I asked wanting to to you know disavow anti-Semitism, and she did. But then when I tried to get Sir Major and these other people to do it, they laugh at you. You know. Um, but black people, especially people, foundation. What do you mean disavow? Okay, disavow. I mean, you should disavow well, anti-Semitism. Well, you have the biggest platform. I mean, and you're, a lot of your followers, whether you like it or not, are people that call themselves publicly FBA people are espousing anti-Semitic mm -hmm. rhetoric. So why don't you take this moment now to disavow anti-Semitism? But black people, you haven't shown where black people are practicing anti-Semitism. And harming Jewish people. I just people. gave you numerous and, examples of it. No, you just said Kanye and some people in Kyrie Irving. Rooms. I'm talking Cannon, about every single. What did no Kyrie? What did Kyrie Irving do? Anti-Semitic. He shared a, 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 a movie that has anti-Semitic conspiracy theories in it. The, the 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 History Channel does the same thing. So why are you not condemning them for doing that? Why am I not condemning the History Channel for set, for sharing? Yeah, what anti-Semitic conspiracy they, theories is 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 the History Channel sharing? 
they promote Hitler stuff all the time. They promote Hitler stuff all the time. I haven't seen any. Yeah, they show of movies Hitler about Hitler promoting. They, they show movies about. Yeah, promote the movies about Hitler and documentaries they, about Hitler these, all the time. But yeah, they discuss World War II all the time, but they're certainly not promoting Hitler or the Holocaust. I mean, I would be but they promote the that, movie. I mean, if there is, then, then you know, if you want to send me an example or they you promote, can give me they one. They promote I, movies. Slow, slow down. They promote documentaries with Hitler all the time. They promote the documentaries. Yeah, but oftentimes, I mean, from what I've seen on the History Channel, those are documentaries that are critical of what the Nazis did, which is a good thing. People should know right, what happened right. in the Holocaust. But there, but that's that. Right. You can't equate that with someone sharing a a, a a conspiratorial, you know, documentary saying that like Jews are some shadowy group behind all these things, and you know, Jews and white people are the same, which they're not, you know, religiously or well, ethnically. Well, well, Kyrie didn't give an opinion one way or another. He just shared a documentary, just like the History Channel does. He didn't co-sign and say that this was right or wrong. He just shared it. So what? What well, was what's, different what's from the him of, and the, the history point channel? Of him sharing it, like if I were to share like the greatest story never told, to, to learn, to learn from, to to learn what people are saying out there, just like the history channel. What's the Be, point because, of them? Because it's, movies because about it's, Hitler? it's it's misinformation. It's it's mis it's anti-Semitic misinformation. There's nothing substantiated in that documentary. It's just filled with anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. So you know, he obviously knows it, the information. It's not. No, you no. I watched a little bit of it, and it wasn't filled with anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. It wasn't. Well, I wouldn't. It wasn't. Okay. I mean, we can we can debate about. It just wasn't. Well, if it, it you wasn't. watch, if you just like you just okay, like you, you said, Kyrie Irving was anti-Semitic. You just, you just said just like you said, Ky, just like you said, Kyrie Irving was anti-Semitic, and he wasn't. He's sharing now. Kanye, material Kanye, yeah. yeah, Kanye, yeah, that was anti-Semitic. What Kanye did, I don't co-sign what Kanye did at all. That was wrong. Saying I'm gonna go Defcon three on the Jews, and no, that's not cool. Yeah, but but you, you but Kanye is a bipolar. Well, hold on, Tariq. I mean, I go into these FBA spaces, and every single time I go in there, it's automatically it's it's anti-Semitic rhetoric. It is rampant, and I mean, you might not there's see it because 40... people are a little bit more tame. You know, when they're they're talking here, they want to be articulate. It's a bigger audience. You got 800 people here, but when it comes down to it, and you're getting into the actual trenches here. There is a ton of anti-Semitism. I could point out a myriad of accounts. I've been, I'm getting tagged in anti-Semitic posts right now. I have um, the I'll, great. Okay, the, show me, show me, show me anti-Semitism from black people. I'm that's looking beyond at the ghost them just of Malcolm talking. right now. Is is uh, at the height of American slavery? Seventy-eight percent okay, of slavery. Slow down. Slow down. Show me some anti-Semitism from black people beyond them just saying something you don't like. Well, we're, you you certainly don't believe that seventy eight percent of slave owners were Jewish, now, do you? Um, no, I don't. But there were Jewish slave owners. You do acknowledge that, right? There, there were, yeah, there were. Just like there were white ones, but they were a minority. You know. Um, um what do you what do you mean a minority? What do you? Well, mean? If, if Jews, if seventy eight percent of Jews were slave owners, then you know. Let's the get names... off the seventy eight percent. No, 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 stop, stop. Let's get off the 78% thing. We don't have to throw a percentage out there, but you do acknowledge that there were Jewish slave owners. Yes, there's right? there's three of them, three actual people that are documented it, owning slaves. Name them. Name them. Uh, I, I could I could Google them right now, but from what I understand, there are three of them. Google them. Google, Google them. Google. Let me hear this, because th what you said is emphatically false. Well, now, well, do you that have right a, there. I mean, if I Google it, it's not even going to show anything. Let's see here. Let's see. Jewish people who own slaves. To sit here and say there were three Jewish slave that's owners. What I, that's what I you, read on there, that there were, there were three sure. actual do documented Jewish slave owners. Um, and I'm talking about people that actually owned agricultural slaves. I'm sure that you could find an instance of, you know, someone up north who had one slave or two slaves that helped. Oh, good. Sir, please don't try to push the, don't try to move the goalposts. Please don't try to move the goalposts. You just, are you really, go, are you really... Are you going to sit here and talk about anti-Semitism and then sit here and do what's the equivalent of Holocaust denial it's by not, saying that there were that only... a Holocaust? That is so anti-Semitic. You're talking about the systematic saying genocide that, of six sir, million people. Sitting, sitting here saying that there were only three Jewish slave owners, that's disrespectful and that's historically completely inaccurate. And you know that. So denying that the anti-black racists within white Jewish society practice anti-black racism, that's like people denying the Holocaust. So you can't sit here and deny and, and get mad at one group 
who you allegedly say denied the Holocaust, and then you deny another Holocaust. You understand? Well, well but you're denying the Holocaust by equating it to something no, like not. that. That, no, that is, no, no, yeah, no, no, no. How am I denying the Holocaust? It. You're using the Holocaust, like the word, as a verb. You're talking about the no. systemic genocide of six million people simply because of the fact of their ethnicity and religion. And you're sitting here pretending that um, the anti-black white supremacists within Jewish society did not exist by saying only three participated there in the slave. There was a slave. small majority of them at the time. But and to I say that, that's so disrespectful. That's so anti-black racism. Do you think that racism. Jews have reconciled with their past <clears throat> along with the slavery? Do you think that Jews have made up for that, for their wrongs and their misgivings? To, what, against black people? Yes. How? Well, let's look at the relationship between Jewish, you know, influence within, you know, the civil rights movement. I mean, we've been hand in hand trying to deal with white supremacy and, you know, and racism. So I don't understand, you know, the, the sort of, you know. Really? Well, I mean, what? How really? Do, what do you mean, really? What, do you, what are you talking about, sir? Jewish people have had a hand in hand within the civil rights movement. Jewish people, especially secular Jewish people like myself, have been at the forefront of promoting equity and diversity and in challenging white supremacy. There has been so no, what a, group, so, been no group okay. that has challenged white supremacy, especially white Anglo-Saxon Protestant power in this country. The only power block of any sort of significance is actually limited white Anglo-Saxon power in this country has been Jews and Jewish influence within this country. And if it wasn't for Jews and Jewish influence, we'd still be living in Jim Crow. And that is a fact. That is an undeniable fact. Uh, How? Prove it. I'm asking you how. You're just saying stuff. Man, you said so much. Let me get me a sip of water. We're going to be here for a minute. I want to hear this. How did y'all do that? Where exactly would you like to start? Um, Let's start. Hell. Um, The Jim Crow era. When did you stop white supremacy? Well, hell, let's go to slavery, <clears throat> since you said that there were only three slave owners. Oh, well, I mean, we can we can we can talk. We can talk about that. I mean, let's look at all. Let's, let's get into let's talk into the civil rights movement. OK, let's now let's go all the way. Let's take it all the way back. Let's let's move from slavery to the civil rights movement. If you okay. say that you stop white supremacy, the second in command with the Confederacy was Judah P. Benjamin, who was a major slave owner down in New Orleans. He was Jew. He, was, he wasn't even a, he wasn't even a practicing Jew. Stop it. Yes, he was. Why would you tell that lie? Yes, he was. No, I, I don't believe that he was a practicing Jew. Yes, he Jew. was. That's why they knew he was Jewish. He, he let them know he was a practicing Jewish person. Yes, he was. So you have to practice it in order to be it? What, what are you saying? Well, yes, yes and no. I mean, that's, that's a complicated No, no, no. What, you, no, 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 well, no, 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 what do you mean yes and no? Well, well, no, no? What do you mean yes and no? Because you were like, Jews ain't white and all of that stuff. So what are you talking about? Either... Are you ethnically Jewish or is it a religion? What are you talking about? There, I, there's, there's both, right? So there is an ethnic component to it. And uh-huh. I think that's where, like, Wani and I were talking about this earlier, where the whole black Israelite thing gets mixed up, where you have a lot of um, black Americans that purport to be black Israelites because of one particular tribe that existed in Africa that could trace their lineage and their blood back. Okay. Um, and, and so we, we've, gone, we've delved into this. I mean, I don't. Uh, we're, Let's I delve mean, we into can, it now because we've got a lot to talk about. Okay, so what makes a, a white person Jewish? What makes a white person Jewish? Uh-huh. Well, I, I'm, of, I'm of the belief that there's an ethnic component associated with Judaism. We are a okay. matriarchal religion that's passed down genetically. You can convert to Judaism, it takes three years to do so. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, you know, that's more of something that, that Christians kind of came up with. Um, you know, where, whereas Jews, it's something we've tried to sort of protect the, the ethnic side of who we are. Oh, my goodness, you all over the place. So black people are why is it a problem when black people claim a Jewish lineage? If they if they do have a Jew, Jewish lineage, there is not a problem with that. The problem is, is that most of these black in the black Hebrew Israelites in the United States cannot trace their lineage back to um, that actual tribe in Africa, which Wani can jump in and, and, and well, Wani, you have a mic right now. You can, I don't remember the exact name of the tribe, but I remember you vividly bringing up this point not more than 90 minutes ago when we were in a space together. Uh-huh. Um, but the black people over in Israel, they can trace their stuff back and they get discriminated against by the white Jews. So what's going on with that? 
Well, what what specific? What, I mean, what are you talking about specifically? There was one shooting. What do you mean specifically? Happened. No. Well, what specifically sir. do you mean they're discriminated against? I mean, give sir. me a specific instance, right? Sir, they were over there um, sterilizing black women who were Jewish over there. I mean, we could, the list goes on and on. Brutalizing the black people who were Jewish over there in Israel, kicking them out, so not allowing some of them in there. And if you, the the word is you're supposed to be Jewish. Everybody who's Jewish is supposed to come over there. But then the if red you, tape. If you can, tr if you can trace your, if you can tr do a genetics test and you can trace it back, a lot of the Africans that were trying to immigrate into Israel were economic immigrants that had no blood connection to the tribe whatsoever. And that sounds like I'm white and I say so. That okay, that's I'm white and I say so. That it's sounds like how, how did you how do they know that they didn't have any um they didn't do the genetic testing on all of those people stop that they did not well, go they, around they doing they did. couldn't do genetic testing on it. you're talking about right. hundreds of thousands nearly a million people that tried to come to the country all right the so how do, how genetic. how are you going to say that they're not ethnically Jewish and you didn't do any DNA test on them well it's not that we didn't do any it's just that we weren't able to do DNA testing on all there was I think there was almost boy a if you of man you all over the place dude. We, there was genetic. The there yeah. was genetic testing that occurred. No, there wasn't. Right? They didn't do genetic testing on those people. They were like, "Y'all too black. Y'all can't come over here." That was the genetic test. That's, that's You're not too black. True. That's an anti-Semitic that trope. That's what a lot of the Free Palestine people will report to say. What are you talking to about? I'm not making, this stuff is in the news. The Wait, stop. No, no, no. Jews no. Stop, sir. You're being very deceptive and anti-black by sitting here denying the anti-black racism. We can pull up articles about all of the discrimination that the black Jewish people go through in Israel now. What are you talking about? Like, uh-uh, that's your... Is you doing I'm white and I say so. I don't think so. I'm not saying that there isn't discrimination against black people in Israel. There is, especially with Hasidic Jews who, you know, are, are you know, can be racist. And, the, and the Hasidic Jews have a, the same issue in New York City, and it does happen. I'm not saying it doesn't exist, but it's not nearly at the same rate as white supremacy that happens here in the United we don't, States. We, we didn't ask and you to compare. No, no, we didn't ask you that. We didn't ask you that. There's like, any, yeah, there's any, some racism. Any, any yeah, we, racism we, is we hate, wrong. Yeah, we hate the Negroes okay. here, but it, it ain't as bad as in the United no, States. Any, that's any not of, nothing to pop any your, that's of, nothing, any degree of that's nothing to pop your collar to, all right? That's not anything to pop your collar to. You, you seem like you have a problem with acknowledging the anti-Black sector within white Jewish society, sir. Why is that? The, the, problem, the problem with going down that path and making that acknowledgement is it opens Jews up to criticism from white supremacists who are going to use it as a way to turn black people against Jewish people. And but Jewish why, and black but people why practice? And trajectory. how about you? How, why why right, sit here and allow? History? No, no, no. Because why, why sit here and allow yourself and people in your group to practice vile anti-black racism for decades and decades and decades? Why? And we can't say nothing because the uh, white supremacists might turn on you. That's your answer? So we should just be cool with you practicing anti-black racism? No, that's, that's not it. But it should be checked internally because when you open that up, you're going to get a situation. What happens when anti-Semitism is able to run rampant? You had what happened where you had six million. But you don't check black people internally, sir. Black people who say something you don't like, you make a spectacle out of them, like Kanye, like Kyrie, and you open them up to anti-black racism, sir. What are you talking about? But that's that's to stop anti-Semitism. So, well, how we gonna stop? To... What we what we gonna do to stop anti-black racism? How are we gonna stop anti-black racism that also comes from your community too? How do we stop that? Because talking internally ain't it. Well, then, then how else do you want to do it? You want to have people like Kanye? Is that what you want? You, yeah. I mean, Kanye ain't got nothing to do with, with this conversation. So, well, you just brought him up. Can we have? A I, I brought him up because you brought him up. I brought him up because you were talking about we need to if we're going to criticize the anti-black races within Jewish society, let's do it quietly. Let's do it internally. But if a black person <laughs> says something you don't like, then you got to make a big old spectacle out of it. It ain't internal. You make an example out of them. But we can't that's, criticize your that's, racism. That's, that's, no. no, no, I'm not. I'm not saying that, that that can't be criticized. But can you do it without having anti-Semitism? I mean, what do you Kanye mean anti-Semitism? No, 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 no. How is because, criticizing you? So are you saying calling out your racism within the white Jewish community is anti-Semitic? I'm not saying. I'm, but that's not what Kanye is doing. And that's the. Yo, I'm not up. talking about no damn Kanye.
Kanye is not the representative of black people. If Kanye is the representative of black people, is Al Jolson? Is Al Jolson? You keep bringing him up. That's not fair. Okay, no, 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 because you keep bringing him up. Is Al was Al Jolson the representative of the anti-black racism within the Jewish community? Absolutely. Well, was he a representative of the anti-black? Maybe you could say to well to some extent possibly. Okay. How come y'all never criticized Al Jolson? His portrayal of, he was Jewish, he, his portrayal of black people that went worldwide, that contributed to the lynchings of black people. It did, and, and it was criticized. And a lot, of, a lot of the literature that comes out now, especially within the university system, is very much so a, against this sort of stuff. And these Zionist racists have been called out. And there is a big secular movement within Israel to create a more equitable society and to create safer standards for all people. What about Muslims here? How are you going to make an equitable society here because of the ramifications we are, we of the Jewish, Al-Jos? Jewish people are working hand in hand with black people, and it doesn't help. How are Where? you supposed to? How? Wait, hold on, Tariq. Let me say one thing, and then, and then you can jump in. How are Jewish people, how am I supposed to be able to convince other Jewish people to, to get in line with, with black people when you literally have the, the biggest purveyor of anti-Semitism is a black person right no, he's now not. in this country? No, but Kanye, he is, but Kanye, he is. Kanye is a bipolar clown. He hasn't harmed anybody, and nobody's taking Kanye. His rhetoric will lead to no, people no. getting genocide. You, no, no. You have that's, well. That's why no. The overt reaction. Okay. Okay. No. You can, to say he's the biggest purveyor of anti-Semitism, and you have these white nationalists running around here in Charlottesville yelling, "The Jews will not replace us." You guys don't say nothing about them. These people are the ones who are actually shooting up synagogues, and the Proud Boys and all these guys running around here doing real things. And you're going to sit here and scapegoat Kanye, a bipolar rapper who nobody is really taken seriously. Nobody's doing anything to Jewish people because of Kanye. That's a cop out. What are you talking about? Jewish people have literally the Anti-Defamation League, the Southern Poverty Law Center, everyone in Charlottesville that, that did the Unite the Right rally, that were doing the swastikas and carrying the teaching torches, all, most of those people ended up in jail or have been sued. We have vehemently no. gone after those people. So just no. say that Jewish people haven't confronted they had, no, white they haven't really gone in on those serious? folks. They haven't gone in on those folks. The the reason why these white nephews have the, the guy they haven't no. the vehicle, they don't do it now. They have life in prison. They don't go in on the. You got Nick Fuentes running around here. Nick Fuentes, rather, he's been doing his anti semitism thing for years. They're just now getting on his case because he's hanging with Kanye. And this guy was directly involved with a lot of these white nationalist groups who get into these violent acts. They don't and really go in on, in on the Jan- and he was pulled in on the January six committee. And y'all don't, questioned. y'all don't, you don't go in on these white nationalists like you do a Kanye. You're not going. You because just Nick said, Fuentes, you just, it's dishonest to say that Nick Fuentes has the same platform or the same influence as Kanye West or he, Kyrie Irving oh, or you, Nick Cannon please. or Ice Cube or any any one of these major Kanye West. D- Kanye West ain't really wielding no power. And Nick Fuentes is? Yes, because he's a how white so, supremacist. How, how can you say that Nick Fuentes has more power and more influence on society than Kanye West? Because really he's white. That? Because he's because white. He's, how did, but that, what do you mean? That doesn't make sense. Let and me make it make sense Hispanic. to you. He's Hispanic. He identifies that, as Hispanic. He doesn't even identify as white. Stop yes, he's it. white passing. Fair stop enough. Stop it. That's a white man and a white supremacist. And he has more power than all black people. And he was put on a no-fly list. He's been don't matter. And he's running around platform. here still he's good money. Well, what else do we do? I mean, tell me as a Jewish person what I do. Don't to sit here and act like that. Kanye has some kind of power over these lowly white supremacists. Your whiteness is power. Him. The white supremacists love Kanye West, and they're all in bed with him. He's running around with Nick Fuentes. He's a mascot. He's a powerless mascot. How is he powerless? Cal How do you define power? Cal uh, power is. The ability to have uh, power is all about influence, influence and protection. That's what power is. If you have influence and protection, Kanye doesn't have it. He doesn't well, that's have because influence. of Jews. That's because and he doesn't have it. He doesn't have protection. Took away his influence and took away his power. Because and then of he what don't he have said. power. If somebody can come and take your money away because of the, the shit you say, you ain't got no power. If, I, I would I would disagree with that, and it's no. it's only Jews have only acted this way because of Kanye's overt anti-Semitism. That's why they're and so, it was white. It was it was not pro- Jewish. It wasn't just Jewish people. Just white society in general got on Kanye's case. It was white people who are not even Jewish trying to sue Kanye now. 
So it was a white so, thing. What do you mean white people who are not Jewish trying to sue Kanye? Yeah, there's white people who aren't even Jewish going in on Kanye right now. The the people over at Nike, not Nike, at Adidas, the the, the people at Adidas, they're not Jewish. They uh, actually, them. actually, no, actually, a lot of them are. And and the banks that finance Adidas, most of them are Jewish. If, but, if you don't think that it's a concerted effort well, you know, the from, from who's the, see, the CEO the of the CEO, community. wait, the CEO of Adidas is not Jewish. It's it's the CEO doesn't wield the power. It's the board of directors that wields the power. Six how many out of them, of are, Jewish. them are Jewish? How, how many of them are Jewish? Most of them, I believe, it's six out. I believe six of them are okay. Jewish. I, and and by the way, Adidas was started by a Nazi, so that's why I know it, it was. But it was broken up after World yeah. War II into different companies, and it was yeah. bought out. Uh, it's not it, they're not nazis running around at adidas if oh, that's what you're saying oh okay okay because I, I ne they never go in on that they never the kanye yeah kanye bad kanye bad but they never talk about why are you uh, why are you trying to sort of like haphazardly defend kanye west kanye's bad uh, like you're you know, doing the that, real, like, the real that, issue why are you practicing anti-black the real issue is white supremacy why, why yeah. are you practicing anti-black racism by doing i'm white and i say so don't do i'm white and i say so don't I'm white and I say so, me, sir. That do not practice anti-black racism. I'm Jewish. I'm not You're, white. So you, I don't know why. But you, you can you, still you, you can still practice anti-black racism, which is what you're doing by doing I'm white and I say so. Racism don't. requires power. Uh -huh. it, it's power. It, that no, it's it's that is a pretense of it. If, uh -huh. if a black guy yells something at someone, does that mean he has power? No. It, it, it racism has to black do with people power. are completely we, we have powerlessness we're powerless in this country that's that's not entirely true though. it is and true that's how are that, black people in, in a system of white supremacy that's why and part of the rules of white supremacy the lowliest white person can take down the most prominent black person like bill cosby for example bill cosby was taken down by broke white women that shows the power of whiteness. Whiteness has yeah, a monetary... Yeah, but there, there, some of those allegations were true about it. I mean, I would say that not all of them are true. No, no, I mean, no, no, Jewish people have also dealt with the Me Too movement. There's been a lot of false allegations levied at Jewish people simply because of the money and power that they have. I mean, do you think that Harvey Weinstein really raped every single one of those women? Oh, I mean, Harvey Weinstein is on video, well, on tape, trying to snatch some, some draws from a woman. So, yeah, that's not a good example, sir. Harvey Weinstein is literally on tape trying to get his in. Um... But the thing is, you said you're not white. What's the difference between an Anglo white person and a Jewish person physically? How? What do you mean you're not white? Well, just because there are, there are ethnic differences, there are genetic differences. If you were to try to do a genetic test, in order people to don't do that when they no 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 okay, because right. well, well I'm trying you, to answer the question, no, no, no. but no, I'm I'm just saying if I see you on the street, what's the difference between you and an Anglo white person as a Jewish person? What's the difference if I just saw you on the street? I'm not pulling out a DNA test. I mean, you're not. You're not gonna. I'm not, I look. I look like a white person, but I'm not a white person. So okay. I don't know what to tell you. I don't. Like, were you trying to like? So what's the difference? Jew so what's the like, invisible? The no, difference so is, is that I'm Jewish. You said you're not white. You're Jewish, but why do? But but why do Jewish people classify themselves as white? I don't classify myself as white. So I can't. I mean, are you asking me to speak for other Jewish people? That's like me asking you to speak on behalf of all black people, right? Oh, I mean, how, how is how that, is that, how fits, is that fair? How is that fair to do? I can tell you what my experiences are, how I live, right? And I don't. I'm not a white person. I don't consider myself white. I'm a Jewish right. person. I'm ethnically and I'm religiously Jewish. So I don't. I don't know where this is sort of coming in. And I, I also don't understand the, the degree of hostility that exists between black people and Jewish people, in particular black Americans and Jewish Americans, when we have a similar struggle, you know, all so, so are why are you so, so why do you, why does so many white supremacists within your community practice anti-black racism against us then, if you don't understand the problem? You can't be a white supremacist if you're Jewish. I don't understand the disconnect there. How um, can someone who is not white practice white supremacy? Tell me how a Jewish person it literally an underprivileged person that has been Google, attacked, who's been genocided. Google Dan Burroughs. Okay. Okay. Well, just what? Who's? I don't even know who that is. Dan Burroughs was one of the leaders of the American Nazi Party in the 1960s. Okay. He was one of the people who was helping to organize bombings of black churches around the country. Dan Burroughs. Why are you saying that he was ethnically Jewish or something? Is yeah, he was, he, he was, yeah, he was Jewish. They outed so him as I guess a Jewish all, person. All Jews were behind it or whatever. Did they, they, out, they, outed him as, they outed him as a Jewish. He was a, he was so what a Jewish so white supremacist. So they found out he was Jewish and they kicked him out. Right. And, and, and what did they do? The Nazis kicked him out. I'm sure he was disavowed by the Jewish community. I'm sure I could look on there. No, he, no, no he committed suicide. He killed himself once he was outed.
he killed himself. He okay, took but, himself. but so, but that, but you have deranged. So are you saying that like Jewish people are just closeted? No, you're doing. I'm white and I say so again. I'm saying I'm that there's. Doing, I'm not white. I'm not white. So I don't know why you keep saying I'm white and I say so. I'm not white. Mm. Um, but why? So, okay, so so why are there? Why were there people who were classified as Jewish people who just came over and changed their last name and nobody knew that they were Jewish? They just kind of blended in. How if they weren't white? How could they do that? There, there are different ethnic differences. I mean, you might think that the distinctions are minimal, but I mean, is it fair to call like a Nigerian, a, a, a Gambian or, or, you know, an Ethiopian? Like there are, there are little, there are ethnic differences. They're right? still black. They're all black though. They're still black. Well, I mean, you ask the Somali if they're black and they might just tell you like, something different. Just like, just so, like a Jewish person, an Anglo white person, a Hispanic person. They all classify themselves as white. They're all white. Well, but but white people don't see Jewish people as white. So I don't I don't know what you I mean your issue is. I mean, they genocided us in pretty much every single country in Europe. Six million of us were systemically killed in, in the Holocaust. Mm-hmm. And so clearly if, if if white people believe that Jewish people were white, then why would they perpetrate this violence? At the end of the day, my but, only But point you have still, Milo, but you have Milo who's Jewish and he's a white He's he's a Catholic convert and, and I don't even think he's he's a blood Jew. So I don't know. you know uh, so boy, y'all get it, y'all get right into the boy. They got to have a test and all of this stuff going on. Wow, but how, we, but we can, how can, we can you? But you can this. when you meet people, you, you go you you don't make them do tests. You just see them and say, okay, this person's description. If you have to describe them, this is the white person. All right. Uh, look, I mean, Tariq, you and I can argue about this all night. I'm going to let some other people jump into the space. But the only point I was trying to make is that in my experiences in these FBA spaces, there's rampant anti-Semitism. There's rampant anti-Semitism that's becoming popular. It's being popularized by people like Nick Cannon and Kanye West. And no, Kyle Nick Irving. Cannon. No, what did Nick Cannon it's only, say? Nick it's, Cannon didn't say anything anti-Semitic. What are you talking yo, about? No, he did, and he apologized for it. That's it, just, it's, not, it's, he apologized because they were going to take money from him. You know, that's just, I'm white and I say so. It's not, I'm white and I'm, I'm say so. It has to do with the fact that he's perpetrating anti-Semitism. But, why, I mean, but, but okay, so, the, so let's, in recap, your whole thing is, well, you, black people are supposed to be put on a pedestal to whip if they say something that people can twist into something anti-Semitic. It's but, not. If, if you're saying but, something that's overtly anti-Semitic. But the vile anti-Black racism that the people within your community practice, there's a sector in your community who practices okay. anti-Black okay. racism, and we're not supposed to say anything because that's anti-Semitic by calling out their if, anti-Black if it, racism. If it, opens up, if it opens up Jewish people to literal genocide, like getting shot up in a synagogue, then no. Figure out how to have a conversation without putting the lives of Jewish people at stake. Okay, if but, but you put our but, racism, but you put if, but okay, you wait, put on, our three, lives three, three. But, but, but you put black people's lives in jeopardy by posting up Nick Cannon, Kyrie Irving, and Kai and Kanye as the real bigots. So that justifies anti-black racism against us, and this is why we get killed and shot. Well, no, no, white in the people street. laugh at it. They laugh at it because they say, "Oh, it's funny." There's a black person making fun of a Jew. White no, they're not laughing at it. No, 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 no. So what, no white- they're, they're not laughing at it. They're taking their money. They're making them cough up large amounts of money, and they're using that to demonize all black people. So we're supposed to sit up here and get abused based on the propaganda that black people are the real bigots because we're the real anti-Semites and we're supposed to get the brunt of the damn abuse, but we can't say nothing about your anti-black racism because it'll make people not like you. Is that what you're saying, sir? What I'm saying is, is that if the conversation about dressing a minority of That racism, ain't working. It- no, no, that's not going to happen. We don't do racial double standards. We're not going to do that. Everybody's racism gets called out. You want okay, us to practice then, some kind of will, weird then, then be, racial? Okay, no, because what willing. you want? No, 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 no. Because okay. what you want is white privilege. That's no, called I don't. white privilege. No, I don't. I'm not. Wh- yes, I'm it not is, white. sir. I'm not. We can't. You can sit here and criticize us for saying something you don't like, but we can't call out the vile anti-black racism that comes from your community because it'll make people not like you. So that's a privilege that you're trying to employ, which is white privilege, sir. We ain't going for that. No. Everybody's going to get called out. You're not going to get away with sitting up here practicing anti-black racism. Tariq, all I'm trying to do is All you're trying to do is practice anti-black racism. I'm trying to protect Jewish people from being shot, from being And I'm trying to protect black people from getting So then how can Jewish people and black people work together 
to address the concerns that Jewish people have of, of, of certain people within the black community espousing anti-Semitism and simultaneously how the concerns we, how, that black people have. About but how are you? You're trying to protect the anti-black racists within your community. So how are we going to work together, sir? How's that going to work? No, I'm not trying to protect. I'm, I want to root out that racism. No, you're not. not. If it, no, you're not. Not if it you're... opens up Jewish people to a literal genocide. If, oh, if getting okay, rid of it. racism no, at the behest of... No. Hold on. I mean, I, are you going to just... No, because what you're saying is ridiculous. What you're saying is, hey, genocide them, not us. No. Nobody should be genocided. And we're not going to sit here and ale allow people to practice anti-black racism. And then when we say, hey, we don't want that, well, you're the real anti-Semite and we're going to punish you and justify your group being punished. No, we're not going for that, sir. That's just anti-black racism. Tariq, not that's not that. that's not what that's not what I'm saying. I think we that's can have exactly a what problem. you're saying. No, I want You're to not be calling I out. Want it to be you're not calling out the anti-black racists within your community that practices real racism, not just somebody saying something, not some bipolar it's not, rapper. When someone goes in and shoots up a synagogue, it's not someone just saying something. That ain't okay? black folks doing that. Go holler at the it, white supremacist. But it's the rhetoric being perpetrated no, it's by not. black Stop celebrities that. that's leading... That, it ain't stop with that lie that black people are making the white supremacists racist. Stop it. Stop it. Kanye West is not making the white supremacists radical. Stop it. Blaming black people. Yeah, blaming black people for white blaming black people for white supremacy is anti-black. Yes, you are. Blaming black people for white supremacy is anti-black racism, sir. You're not calling out the race. So, and, 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 and so how are you also, gonna stop also, Jewish also, people also, from being killed? How how what are you gonna do to protect Jewish people? Holler at the white supremacists. They're the ones doing it. What are you going white to do? White supremacists. Tell me what white supremacist has a bigger platform than Kanye West. Kanye West don't run nothing. Kanye white society West can the, shut Kanye West the, down. He's the biggest anti-Semite in this country right now. Stop and the it. fact that, that so many black people are silent about it when his rhetoric will directly lead Stop. to Jewish people being genocided is insane. You cannot no, have an not. open... That's, that's, you cannot, that's you cannot have an open... Tariq. That's and not you and I true. will disagree about this. We can scream about this all day long. But at the end of the You're day, just I'm doing I'm white and I say so, sir. This I'm is not, literally I'm, I'm white and I say so. This is I'm, I'm white and I say so. You're just saying. That's, that's which not is what a, I'm saying is, is that if you making false it, accusations, you saying that Kanye West is the biggest anti Semite in the country, when you have all of these white nationalist groups out here and you got the Proud Boys and people like that out here. You had thousands of people in Charlottesville who were white running around with tiki torches talking about the Jews would not replace us. And then they actually killed somebody. And you're sitting here talking about Kanye is the real anti-Semite and he's the biggest one. Really? That's not white and I say so, sir. That's just... You wouldn't have known who Nick Fuentes was a week ago if it wasn't for Kanye West. So, Dude, you know, if you don't stop. I've been going at Nick Fuentes for damn near five years. Me and Nick Fuentes, we've been going back and forth with each other. I've been calling these dudes out, guy. Come on now, stop it. I call out all forms of anti-black racism from white supremacists, sir. That's what we do as black people, you see? And to sit here and say that it was your community who stopped white supremacy in, a, in America, in the civil rights movement? Did you say that with a straight face? Peter? I, of course, I said I, you. You never even wanted to jump into the conversation. You wanted to go yeah, back. Yeah, uh, yeah. There was so much to I, unpack. Wait, on, you but and Peter, I had a conversation about Peter. the slave ships, and then you stopped the conversation there. I was about to list off several Jewish civil rights leaders that played an integral role within the civil rights movement. If it hadn't been for that, African American people would be living under Jim Crow if it wasn't for Jewish people in this country. And to this oh. day, and that is a fact. It wasn't it. until the 1990s that South Africa was living under apartheid. And that was in, if it was it wasn't for the entire Western world pushing on that and Jewish people, especially Jewish human rights activists, they would still be living under apartheid. Black Americans owe a debt to the Jewish community for the civil rights movement. If you want how? to be frank. Oh, please explain to me how how you, you and I went in. There was a myriad of civil rights figures that you don't even choose to acknowledge. 
you know, you, you the, all of the, the work that happened behind the scenes to create this equitable society, it's almost as if Jewish people are invisible to the black community. And despite all the sacrifices that Jewish people made in order to create a more equitable society for Jews and black people and other and Asian people and Hispanic people, it's just it's non-existent. Okay. And all we do is who? we get our faces smitten name them. by black okay. people. Okay, name who we, okay. Stop. You're just rambling and then, on. And then I got to come who? up here and I have to come up to you who's you're doing rambling. Like 300,000 Okay. You rambling because you, you're deflecting because you're just saying some bullshit and you, you can't prove what you're saying. Who? I'm asking you to name who. Name these people that black people owe a debt to. Who the hell do we owe a debt to in your community? Please tell me. If you say the NAACP, man, Peter... You better not say the NAACP. Do you really want to play what, that what game? About the, what about the Anti-Defamation League? R you don't think the Anti-Defamation League has been around since what? You know, the 1930s? What mm. other civil rights movement has represented black civil rights leaders throughout the entire thing? All those Are you bills, serious? All did, those you, did you go fights. there? Peter, did you really go there, Peter? I, I can give you numerous examples I can talk about. We can talk about Dean Peter. Anderson, we can Martin Aber. Oh, Peter, let's slow it down. Did you really go there? Did you say the ADL, Peter? Peter? I'm, I'm here. I'm listening. What, 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 Peter, what, is, what is the contention that you have the with what I said? The Anti-Defamation League was started because a an anti-black no, no, Jewish this, man this is, we're not tried even to... Go, that, no, that's, yes, that's, I'm going there. Yes, I am. They tried to pin a murder on some black people and it didn't work. That's when the Anti Defamation League was formed because they didn't get the they didn't get the chance to pin a murder on a black person who didn't do it. It was a white Jewish man who murdered a kid. They tried to pin it on a black person. It failed, and they said, "Hey, we need to have white privilege. We need to have the same privileges as the Anglo white people." Then they started that organization. That is so, a complete anti Semitic lie, and in fact, how because what? he's been exonerated. OK, the district attorney in Atlanta exonerated him for that. So oh. that's completely untrue. The guy who did it was guilty. And the no, fact that they didn't like it because the Anglos didn't like a Jewish person having a business. So they set him up, even though that black man was responsible, regardless. Of no, he race, wasn't. He no, was Leo responsible. Frank yes, killed that girl. No, that black he man was. wasn't and responsible. It's a lie. And, and for you to perpetrate this sort of anti-Semitism. No, you're not going to pro you're not going to perpetrate no damn anti-black lie pinning a murder on a black person who didn't commit a murder, which is what they would do during the Jim Crow era. They would pin these murders and pin these crimes on black people. And Leo Frank tried to do it and it didn't work. It backfired. And then they end up lynching him. Black people didn't have no power. So a black person was innocent. They were really, really innocent. You think? No, they lynched him because they were envious of his status in there because they, they had an issue with Jewish people, especially in the South. And they lynched like they didn't him. have one with black people, like, like they didn't have an issue with black people. Really? Where were, where were black the black civil rights leaders in Atlanta threw Leo Frank underneath the bus and got him lynched? Because he tried to pin a murder on a black person. He didn't try to pin a murder. He was exonerated by the district attorney's office. Not more than 10 years, years later, ago, years later, years later. But no, they was, it, the district attorney in Atlanta is literally black. So what? No matter. So, so, mean so you're, you're saying it's some sort of, you know, uh, anti, it's a conspiracy theory against black people when the district attorney that exonerated Leo Frank is literally black. And you want to bring up this so, old anti-Semitic white nationalist that, no, 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 trope because you didn't know because they didn't get genocide Jews. They didn't get a chance to practice anti-black racism by pinning a murder on a black person. The black man didn't do that. Leo Frank killed that girl. Leo Frank did not kill that girl. That's it wasn't not the black, the black man didn't do it. It was. It was. No, the it black wasn't. community didn't want their, their, their person killed. So they threw to, to these, these white wolves, they threw Leo Frank. And Leo no, Frank lost because his life Leo Frank did. He was innocent. No, no Leo Frank was a hero and and at a that time, man, and his legacy black people, will live on. And, and black people didn't have no power to throw anybody under the bus or nothing. Black people were getting lynched left and right down there. Black people were getting lynched left and right. They would have definitely preferred to lynch a Negro, but the brother didn't do it. No, they, they wanted no, they wanted to lynch Leo Frank because he was Jewish 
and because he owned a business and because they saw him with money and they wanted to attack him. And the black community worked hand in hand with white supremacists to genocide a Jew. And that's, that's what the damn okay. That's started. no, 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 no. We know the black community did not work with the white supremacists. We didn't want a murder pinned on us because that was a common thing to do at the time. People commit crimes and then blame black people. And the black community said no. So don't sit here and act like the end, the ADL was some friend of black society. They weren't. Come on now. You're not being an honest no, man. No, it's, it's, I mean, you don't want to acknowledge you, you. You have a different set of facts that you're operating under. You say the district attorney years later, it's irrelevant, despite the fact that you know, yeah. tons of witness testimonies. They reviewed like literally like thousands and thousands of hours of court documents and everything and came to this conclusion. OK, by a bipartisan group came to this conclusion. What, and wait, said, who? Hey, what, what bipartisan group? Wait, wait, what bipartisan group came to this? And when do they come to the conclusion? They, they, this has been going on for over 70 years that they've been trying right. to get him so they, exonerated. So damn near 100 years later, they're going to say, hey, we didn't looked at some more evidence and hey, we're going to exonerate this. No, 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 no. Stop that. No, it's because of anti-Semitism within Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta has a history of anti-Semitism, okay? And, and, and that, that whole contention and, and, you know, that has existed there because African-American leaders, civil rights leaders are unwilling to acknowledge the fact that Leo Frank was innocent. And he was. We, we could go on and on. Yes, he was innocent. Well, he, wasn't. he was exonerated. He was not guilty. Okay. That, yes, he that was. guy did commit the crime. He did rape and murder Mary. Fr- no, Fagan. he didn't. It wasn't Leo Frank. Yes, it yeah. was. And despite that, Jews were in the African American yeah. community and still helped represent civil rights. Do you think, no, no, stop it. Peter, Peter, do you think that these folks, if a black man did it, and this wasn't, this black man was damn near illiterate, this man wasn't no savvy super criminal where he could cover up a crime like that. If they had any evidence that that black man did it, you think they wouldn't lynch him? They they, they tried. They were going. They were going to lynch him. But then, so why then didn't they do, do it? I mean, because why? Because this wasn't no savvy criminal. Wasn't no, no, stop it. Stop no, he it. Stop. No, 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 no. Literate. He was. He could read. He could write. He and could he barely read. That's were... why I said barely. That man was barely literate. He wasn't no oh, he super wasn't criminal. Barely li- that is such. A, he wasn't barely literate. That's not true. That man was not some kind of super criminal where he could cover up his tracks and all of this. Yes, stuff. He, he was smart. So, so what do you? You're like perpetrating your own bad stereotypes that white people throw on you now. You're saying that no. oh, because it's like he was barely literate. This guy was too stupid to yeah. commit the crime. He, because you're literally see, saying he was see, too here's stupid. the thing. See, because the thing is, y'all talk y- y- people in the dominant society. We're thugs and we're illiterate and we're ignorant until there's a crime. Then all of a that. then I all know, of a sudden never... then all of a sudden we're then all of a sudden we're the most influential people. We have the most intelligence. It, only when it comes to criminality or doing something we're supposed to do. Only when it comes to criminality, all of a sudden we become geniuses. When it comes to a crime, we know how to cover up crime scenes and hide the evidence. We become that's not complete true. Genocide. We're objectively <clears throat> looking at the facts, and you and I will never disagree on this. But the point, the point, or agree on this. The point is, is that despite what had transpired between the black community and the Jewish community, and I have my view on it, and you have yours, and I think the facts are objective. But maybe you know, in your, your view, they're not. Despite that. Jewish people, Jewish activists and business leaders still stood hand in hand with the black community throughout the, throughout the Jim Crow era and into the civil rights movement to end it once and for all. And, how? And, and how? What do you mean how? By I gave you a, a, literally a list of seven different prolific civil rights, Saul Alinsky, like all these people, civil rights so, leaders. Who okay, so, do we, so who do we give credit to? So do we give credit to the ones who stood with some of us or do we give credit to the people who helped perpetuate Jim Crow? So, so, what, so what, so name, give me one example of a prolific Jew, just one example off the top of your head of someone who perpetrated Jim Crow to read. The, a Jewish figure. The Levitt brothers, William Levitt, who was on Time Magazine as the man of the year, who created the modern suburbs, the Levitt towns in this country. They were Jewish and they wouldn't let black people live into those those suburban areas they helped perpetrate jim crow and he was the man of the year on time magazine google that william levitt that's he was, one they weren't even jews weren't even allowed to live in those neighborhoods he didn't even make that much if, money he conceived of the idea of a neighborhood he didn't benefit stop, from from that they made a fortune what are you talking about they, they made some money that was limited in the if northeast was more stop, progressive those same man, suburban communities 
Well, your friends made a fortune. Down in the South, Tariq, they were not able, Jewish people were not able to live in them. Jewish people were discriminated at country clubs. They were discriminated at public swimming areas, just like black people were, okay, up until and through the civil rights movement. That's why Jews had to go and create their own universities. They had to create their own schools. They had to create their own country clubs. They had to do everything on their own. But you, and, but, and, and you still, still had no problem, but you still had no problem creating communities where you emphatically said black people couldn't live in them. That's not true. Black people live hand in hand from you can go in Pikesville and Man. Maryland all the way up to New York City. We've lived hand in hand. OK, and, and we're no, we have you know, well, 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 no, no. During the Jim Crow. No, we didn't know. What are you talking about? And, and, and you, you're, you're, you're skating, you're skating over the Levitt brothers. I'm telling you, the Levitt brothers yeah. created the modern suburbs. They, they didn't create them. redlining. They didn't create redlining and all these other racist things that, that you're referring to and trying to put that under the feet of two Jewish people who had a good idea Not about just restructuring two. neighborhoods Dude. is, is anti-Semitic. It's but you just said You trope. just said name a prominent one, and I just did. I named one who was Thai Man of the Year who he practiced an anti-Black racism openly. Or he, wasn't an anti, he wasn't anti-Black. I'm reading about him right now. What you mean he wasn't anti-black? The New York Times, how William Levitt helped to fulfill the American dream. Levitt revolutionized home building, creating Levittown and making the dream of owning a home a real possibility for thousands of middle-class Americans. Owning a home came to be an abundant in the new American dream. That's the what he's known for. What, what, the Levittowns, in their contracts, they specifically said they cannot give the homes to black people. So what do you mean that's not anti-black He didn't create the contracts for it. Yes, he, he was did. He a designer. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. They created the contracts in those Levitt. That's why the name was Levitt Town. The, the town was named after him. What are you talking about? All right. Well, I, I can't. What are you talking about? It's just making me nauseated. I can't argue anymore. Boy, y'all be, de be denying the stuff that you, See, your is, community is, does is, to it's us. It's so exhausting to be Jewish in this country. I, I make more. It's, it's exhausting to have anti-black racism, too. And, the and, end, and, the end, and also, the, if you want to man. talk about Jim Crow, the the black people who were being brutalized by and having dogs sit on them for going into stores, who owned those stores down there in the South who were discriminating against black people? Oh, come on. Not, the, the, a small yeah. majority of them were owned oh, by Oh, stop Jews. it. This You're was saying not that a Jewish people own all this. Jewish people are covert. I can't do it. I'm exhausted at the end of the day. I, oh, I keep you, trying to defend everything. it. And, and oh, it's such a this small is just minority. no different than the other they, NBA spaces. Oh, so, so now it's a small minority? The Woolworths? That was a small minority? I don't even know who that is, to be frank okay. with you. These, these were some of the stores where they were discriminating, discriminating against the black people, dude. Many of those stores down in the South, these were Jewish-owned stores, the anti-black racism. Were they being forced to by white people? Maybe they didn't have a choice in it. Maybe oh, white God. people said that they weren't allowed, allowed to do that. I mean, wasn't Jim Crow the law there? I mean, didn't Jews, Jews still fought to eliminate these things? At the end of the day, pretending that you know Jewish people didn't have any, any role within the civil rights movement and that the civil rights movement would have come to fruition in the way that you perceive it without Jewish influence and without Jewish power is just insane. You, and you haven't, you haven't told me what the influence and the power was. You, you just keep I talked saying, about Saul Linsky. I talked about the Anti-Defamation League. Okay, which we, did, which we immediately debunked. Well, you put which up we the Larry debunked. Fagan thing. You put up the Larry Fagan thing and then basically discounted everything. That happened in the 1920s, okay? When the civil rights movement came around in the, in the 40s and 50s and 60s and 70s and 80s, the ADL was step in step defending civil rights actions, paying no. for their legal bills, giving them legal representation to get them out of jail, to allow them to continue to protest. Okay, Dude. filing federal lawsuits against housing discrimination, pushing this Congress was our to pass the 1968 our voter rights was Act. doing most of that. So, dude, it was What's the that? black community pulling their resources together, making stuff happen. And Jewish people were hand in hand there, and you just pretend that Jewish people have no role whatsoever. Some, They're just invisible. Some, there were some minimal numbers, as you minimal like to numbers. say. See, it's always, minimal. it's always about discounting, and it's anti-Semitism is, is something that Jews. Everywhere that Jewish people go in this country, there's anti-Semitism. It's never good enough. And there's anti-black racism coming from the dominant society and including your community, sir. And there's anti-Semitic re rhetoric. Most of the anti-Semitic rhetoric right now that's being popularized in this country is being done by, by people who consider themselves, you know, uh, like black Israelite aligned, like Kanye West and Ice Cube and Kyrie and, these are and people, all these people. And notice these people will zero power and there has not been they anything done. They don't will zero power. They, they do. will have they zero power. power at the end of the, the day, power are the Levitt they brothers. Cross Jews, if they cross Jews, they will have the power comes from the Levitt brothers, people like that. And that those were just the prominent ones. 
there were many people like the Levitt brothers who discriminated against black people during Jim Crow. And black people were the financial base of these businesses. They would set up businesses within black society and we would fund them. And then when people got their money, they would use that money to build suburban areas and discriminate against black people and not allow us to go in. They were some of the people in these stores who would not let some of us go into these stores in certain parts of the South. These are the realities of what really went down, showing one or two people who were down, a speechwriter here, somebody there. We're not going to sit here and act like they were the ones who pushed that line. It was foundational Black Americans out in the streets putting in that damn work, making stuff happen. It was Black folks in the streets getting their heads bashed in. My family members putting in that work, making things happen for everybody. That's where people got their civil rights from. They got it from black people, foundational black Americans in the streets, putting in some damn work, busting heads, putting their lives on the line physically. That's where civil rights came from, sir. Don't sit here and practice anti-black racism and minimize what my FBA family did by talking about one or two speech writers that might have been with Dr. King or somebody like that. You're practicing anti-black racism, sir. And people pushed us in the forefront because we were the ones helping them get more benefits and rights. We were the ones helping them more so than them helping us. If we want to keep it really real, Peter. yeah. I mean, look. I mean, we we can talk ad nauseum about this. You're saying that there were other Jewish people that also benefited in these ways. Well, I'm just supposed to take your word for granted because you know I don't know. At the end of the day, we, we could talk about the individual Jews are a tiny minority of the population. It always have been. So the idea that all the I'm Jews talking about the, the thousands. Of, I'm talking about the thousands and thousands of black people who were taking to the streets and making sure that we got civil rights by the thousands that we saw on television during that time, all in the media. You're not going to discount my FBA family and, and putting in that think, work. Who do you think published those articles in the media? Who do you think oh, made those documentaries? Lord. You don't think that Lord. Jewish people had an influence in the media for pushing the civil rights movement? If it wasn't for Jews in their relationship with Hollywood going back to the 1950s after it was essentially bought out by white Anglo-Saxon Protestants, none of that stuff ever went into the mainstream. But, All but, the beatings and attacks but Peter, Peter, over the bridge Peter, in Selma, Alabama, Peter, no one would have even heard of it because it Peter, never would have been carried in any of the publications which were run and owned by Jews. But I thought that was anti-Semitic to say that, that the Jews own the media. That... That's, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that Jews own the media. Jews Jews have used their influence within the media to the benefit of the rest of society. So uh, to say, to say, to say thought, that they aren't, used, aren't you they, being anti-Semitic saying that though? You said the Jews run the media. If it weren't for the Jews running the media, we wouldn't have got all that civil rights coverage. But ain't that anti-Semitic though? Right? Jewish people fought tooth and nail for the power that they have within society, and they have managed it well. Okay, mm. and they deserve. They deserve. Boy, you no, really deflected you, from that. Sense, Jewish people deserve the influence that they you have, and Jewish people do everything that they can to stop. Okay, the boy, you deflected from that. Boy. That leads to them being but, genocided, but, but, Peter, and it's perfectly Peter, Peter, natural. But I thought that was Peter. Isn't that? Aren't you being anti-Semitic by saying that Jews run the media, and we got to thank the Jewish media for? portraying the civil rights movement though it's not I, it's not all of it it's just the majority of it oh influenced by, oh it's not all of it but the majority of it in fact was influenced by jewish people and still is to oh. this day and oh. at the end of the day how but you, when so but, how, but 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 when kanye says that don't y'all say he's the biggest anti-semite kanye's not saying that though kanye's kanye's yes, saying that He's saying that Jewish people wield their power, okay, at the expense of black people, and that's just not true. No, I don't think he's in there. But y'all say, no, 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 no. Y'all were saying that he's bad for saying that Jewish people run the media because that's a bad anti-Semitic trope. But well, you what's going to happen? What, what's going to happen when you know average working white people figure out when Christians figure out what's going on? Do you think it's going to end well? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what the, I don't know what that even means. But you just said that Jewish people run the media. And it's a, but what's the, what's what's the repercussion? What do you think is going to happen? I okay, don't when know. When white working class people figure figure out what's going on, and they say, okay, they, you know, Jewish people are smart. They work extremely hard. There is nepotism. We are a somewhat insular group at the end of the day. But we don't brutalize 
people like other power groups. Would you rather have white Anglo-Saxon, you know, Protestants at the, at the, at the reins of power in this country? Or would you rather have Jews? Which, if, you, if you had to pick between either one, who would you pick? Oh, so let me see. Um, so if I had to choose between um, Ulysses Grant or... Okay, you know, this this conversation is just getting too out of control. In no, 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 no. This is what I'm you're asking. Like, no, 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 no. Just... Okay, okay. So if I have to choose from Robert E. Lee, slave owner, and Judah P. Benjamin, slave owner, you're saying Judah P. Benjamin would have been a better slave owner. Peter, Peter. So you're asking me to choose slave owners because Judah P. Benjamin was kind of brutal. No, no Jewish, no Jewish, the Jewish people don't own slaves. That's not, I'm talking about the here and now. Okay. Oh. We have a, we have a decision on how we want to move going forward in this country. What do we want to do? Or do you, do you want to go back and revert back and have white supremacists, you know, uh, neo-nazis like nick fuentes running the country is that is that really what you want or would you you rather have it you know the way that it's been for the last you know 20 years or so and it's getting better it's getting more the last 20 years of black people getting their heads bashed in that, that it's getting that? Be- it's getting better for everyone despite how? what you might think how how better for black people how at least these things are being brought if it wasn't for jewish influence in the media do you think they ever would have covered you know the george floyd thing do you think police officers would have body cams now if it wasn't for jewish civil rights activists suing you don't you don't think that this has any sort of influence you don't think that we're we're all fighting white supremacy together yo you suing? just you just want to you just want to wipe your hands so you, jewish so all the and, all and the just, millions all the millions of my black family who hit the streets in this country insignificant it was a couple of jewish people it's who not sued insig- it's not insignificant in that but well but we hit the streets actually- man we hit the streets by the millions in this country what are you talking about and we got to pop our collar to some some we got to pop listen we got to pop our collar to some lawyers who sued basically for other groups because it's they were using jo- they were oh sued. no wait because let's go there some of these other groups were using George Floyd's murder to get money and benefits for trans people, immigrant groups, and all of these other folks. And I'm supposed to pop my collar to that? They were using George Floyd. They were using George Floyd to get policies that protect other groups. It wasn't no, for you're, black folks. You're, you're blaming the, the anti-Asian stuff that happened in New York as a result of yeah, George Floyd. Yeah, well, no, all over. No, no, no. All of these Jewish other you know, They used the George well, Floyd. What, no, no, stop. No, 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 no. No. They used the death of George Floyd to sit here and say, well, not only black lives matter, trans black lives matter too. Immigrants matter. Minorities matter. They used George Floyd's death in order to get benefits for their group. Also, they were setting up all of these nonprofits where they would get money in and the black community sees none of that money. We're supposed to pop our collar to that? I'm not, I'm, what do you mean? They, they, I, what does that have to do with Jewish people? Well, I'm, all of these different groups, you keep saying that all of these people were suing and all of this stuff. None of this stuff trickled down to the black community. That's what I'm saying. There, there was a lot of it, but there were a lot of Black Lives Matter activists that ended up taking that money for their own personal gain and spending uh, it on things that they probably y'all shouldn't. Throw them under, and, names, and, 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 and that's the that's, thing. And y'all throw those people under the bus, but where did the rest of that 90 million and all of that stuff went? We know where 4 million here, 6 million there went. There's like 80, 90 million more dollars that's unaccounted for. Did that, did that go to some of your community, sir? Where did that money go? It's not unaccounted for. You know exactly where it went. And if, it, if that money hadn't gone there, it went to Act Blue. And what did that do? It prevented no, 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 no. Donald oh. Trump from being reelected. That's where that George Floyd money went. It went to the Democratic Party, okay, who is anti-racist, who's, def- who, you know, who's defending, okay, black people and Jewish people from racist uh, Nazi well, well, Republicans. Okay, okay, you ain't going to... Okay. I, okay, you ain't going to just sit here and lie now. Stop it. Now you're just trolling at this point. Now you're just trolling at this point. Now you, I'm not going to sit here and let you just sit here and lie. How's the... Okay, now, now you're trolling. How, how, is that, how, is that a lie? how is that a lie? How has the, the Democrats the, protected black people? 
What do you mean? How is it? Who do you how? think has passed all of these? Every single one of these pieces of legislation that has moved us just a little bit further into the future, a little bit better off, has been the Democratic Party. Tell me how the Republican Party has defended black people and they're how? trying to, fight to protect qualified immunity, to protect all these things. Bail reform, okay? We can talk about the, like Bail- the entire judicial system, the district okay, attorneys, okay. okay? Okay, first of all, all black people are not criminals, okay? Talking about bail reform, that whole anti-black narrative that black people are inherently criminal and everything involving the criminal justice system is synonymous with blackness is an anti-black trope. I'm talking about the average innocent black person walking around who can be killed with impunity by a race soldier. How's the Democrats stop that or help with that? What you think that you think well you think that if you have a police department, okay, that has qualified immunity and they go, one of these race soldiers, quote unquote, goes and perpetrates a crime against someone, it allows them to not be personally liable for that crime. So it opens them up, which makes them more apprehensive about violating someone's who's, rights. Okay, okay, so or not. Who's been liable so that, for who's been liable for killing all these damn black people? And white, white supremacist police officers that do target the Jewish community, that do target Jewish people as well. So, you know, it's the idea that, you know, that who, Jewish what, people what, are what, somehow what, 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 Name the Jewish person who's been shot in the back by a race soldier and the race soldier didn't get punished. Name them. I, I can't. I can't name one. Okay, Peter. I'm sure I could okay, it, Peter. But... Thank, thank you, Peter. Thank you. Have a good day, Peter. Okay, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, that's enough for me. Whoo, whoo, boy, 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 boy. The lies. That's that's your Democratic ally right there, guys. Those are your Democratic allies right there. Wow, wow. That, that that's I can't I can't take no more lies. Whoo. Boy, boy, when he said there were three Jewish slave owners, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, right there, I just knew. All right, Lioness, yeah, uh, listen. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I'm going to say is um, I have studied, first of all, I've been a Black Studies major before I even went to college, so I did participate in a youth program with, at the time they said Black American, African American high school students and American Jewish high school students. And this was a year long program. And the purpose of the program was to study the relationships between blacks and Jews during the civil rights movement for a year. We went to churches, synagogues, etc. We even went from Borough Park in New York City, all the way down to Arkansas, visiting all of these historic sites during the civil rights movement, museums, et cetera, et cetera. And we know who was controlling this particular program. Now, I did learn a lot about their culture and it was supposed it was supposed to be like a cultural exchange, but it was really heavy on the narrative of this like white saviorism. And I'm calling it out as white supremacy. This white saviorism, you know, narrative that if it wasn't for these white folks, who were under the Jewish religion, if it wasn't for them, then we would still be in bondage somewhere, sitting on the back of the bus, drinking from a colored water fountain, which is not true. So I just wanted to give that disclaimer now. Shout out to our brothers and sisters from the uh, Nation of Islam that are in the building. They've been dropping receipts by the King Cam um, in the thread, our sister Tamar and other people. So I wanted Mm -hmm. to say that. Now, final thing I want to land on, Brother Flex, um, Goyim. I wanted to ask Peter about Goyim. You were really great, brother, about calling out the anti-Black racism and, you know, just talking about the white supremacy, white supremacy, white supremacy, and the anti-Black racism that shows up within that particular demographic of white people, right? right? So Goyim is a part of, it's a religious principle out of, you know, Orthodox Jewish communities where they believe that anyone who's outside of their religion that is not a practicing Jew of their of their culture and religion is basically not a human being and they also believe that goyim because you know they believe that only god only the chosen people are them these white folks only the choice chosen people are them and anybody else on the planet is subhuman they're goyim 
according to this doctrine and this ideology, which I tweeted out, I'm about to put it in the jumbotron. And therefore, they have used that ideology, which is rooted in anti-Black racism, to justify slavery and other things because they're saying that other people are not human. And so this isn't anything that Black folks made up. These are things that a lot of their rabbis and Israeli leaders have also made public statements about and have written about. And also, um, shout out to the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and his books, um, <laughs> The Secret Relationship Between Blacks and Jews. I highly recommend that book. I'm going to land my plane there. But before you uh, drop me down, let me put that receipt in the jumbotron. Thank you, brother. Thank you, beloved. I appreciate you, dear. Let's get um, Mr. Engaging, Mr. Engaging in here, Roland Dunham. What's up, brother? Great conversation. Um, yes, it is a real life purge going on right now. Um, and I think that we need to be going to the UN and really holding them accountable for these actions and behaviors. Um, it's more than enough tapes out there now. It's more than enough evidence with numbers of the bodies that are piled up that's not being investigated people being snatched up off the street so like yeah i really think that there is a real life um purge going on and it does need to be dressed i i see the um white guy i'm gonna get him on it thank you brother i'm gonna land your plane what's up um what's your name the father turkey groper uh yeah yeah uh i was just coming in to uh disavow that guy peter um i think uh he 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 didn't touch enough on uh, some of his some of the, his ancestors' previous uh, engagements in the uh, ownership of uh, uh, the slave ships, among other okay. things. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you so much. So my th yeah, the thing with Peter was being very disingenuous, man. Wow. And like, if it weren't for people in his community, we wouldn't have got the civil rights, man. If you don't stop. And we got to thank them. We owe them a debt. Man, please. Man, all the discrimination, the anti-black racists, racists within his community was lock in step with practicing Jim Crow. Yeah, there was some cool people. Yeah, there was one or two. There was a few. There was a few around in the civil rights movement that were around. But no, it was a very minimal number. We want to talk about a minimal number. That's a very minimal number. It was us putting in that work. It was our foundational black American family putting in that work, man. Straight up and down. Man. All right, let me get a couple of more people. We got a lot of folks in here. That was a very interesting conversation. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, what's up, Afro Elite? What's up, um, Brother? Mar let me get Brother Marcel in here. Let me get Brother Marcel. Brother Marcel, what's going on, fam? I'm good, sir. How are you, brother? One, Peter mentioned how the Jews used the, the white Jewish community, I want to specify, <clears throat> used their influence for good in Hollywood, but he forgot to mention how they got control over Hollywood, and that was doing blackface, okay? And they spread lots of negative, toxic, anti-black caricatures of black Americans. Secondly, I'm in the low country, and people don't tend to realize this, but the Jewish, the white Jewish community, their first large presence was in the low country. Savannah, Georgia, and Charleston, South Carolina, where over 80% of the Jewish population were enslavers. And last but not least, the, the, what that guy Peter was doing and what Clyburn likes to do. They want to take credit for the good. He wants to talk about the white Jews that were allies to black Americans, and they were, but at the same time, don't want to take credit for the ones that were right there participating in vicious anti-blackness. It don't work that way, and I like yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, so yeah, when it came to like one or two people who marched, yeah, you want to really over big them up, but then you want to ignore the Levitt brothers. Oh, that was just a couple. No, no, it wasn't. Well, the Levitt brothers, they couldn't control the contracts. But what? The hell they couldn't and the town is named after them. What are you talking about? <laughs> dude, that dude was all over the place with the with the BS. And they were lock in step. We couldn't get into homes and suburbs because of the people within his community. That, that, that was the real shit. Many people within his community was discriminating against us. We couldn't build long-term financial equity with homes because they wouldn't let us get homes in those areas. We were stuck in these little urban areas. Come on, man. We got to tell the shit how it really was. Come on now. And I, 
it, it was real telling where he wants to point out Kanye and Kyrie and make them the poster children for anti-Semitism. And you're supposed to call them out. But he's telling us we have to call their anti-black racism out behind closed doors because it'll make it, it'll be bad for them. And that's how a lot of folks like that think, man. They really think like that. We can't call their anti-black racism out. Like with Howard Stern and um, Sarah Silverman running around here with blackface, we ain't supposed to say nothing because the white supremacists might use that against them. So we're supposed to just shut up and take it. No, hell no. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. Anti-black racism will be called out from all sectors. You don't get a pass for being no damn anti-black racist because there's some discrimination against you. And then the Leo Frank thing and the ADL, he tried to lie about that. That's a lie that they've been trying to promote. Leo Frank, killed this girl down there and I think it was in Georgia. And then they tried to pin that damn murder on a black dude and it didn't work. That's the facts. A black person didn't have no privileges back then. We don't have them now. Black, like a, like a, like the black community has some kind of privilege where we can throw somebody under the bus. No, if we were innocent, we were innocent. We were really, really innocent. But anyway, I digress. Anyway, Oh, very interesting conversation, man. I it was a I think it was constructive to a certain degree. We learned a lot, I think. But anyway, man, um, go to aruttasusay.com to get the new Aruttasusay Christmas sweaters, ladies and gentlemen. Aruttasusay.com. Go to hiddencoloursfilm.com to get the movies Hidden Colors 1 through 5, the new movie American Maroon coming soon, ladies and gentlemen. And um, y'all follow me on my YouTube channel at Tariq Radio. All right? Y'all be good. Puppy Akutan, Lulavuve to the family. Peace.